Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so as usual we will start with the dixie uh, checking the weekly time frame uh, what's important here on the dixie guys that uh, the week before last week the dollar broke this structure here and closed below that was key area because the the previous swing was a higher low and a higher high and this is now a broken structure, which means this uh, trend that started um, is now invalidated and we cannot uh, think that we might keep going up yet. So um, that's what happened. And uh, last week was a bullish week, but actually the whole week been almost bearish until Friday. We're going to see that on the daily time frame. So as you see here, Friday is the candle that did change uh, uh, the daily structure. Okay. So been a, a bearish week until Friday when you uh, got this uh, very nice uh, strong candle. This is one candle only though. Keep in mind that we've been in a bearish trend for a while and then uh, we've got one strong candle. That is um, good for the bulls but should not be enough yet. It is a good sign. Uh, we never saw uh, such a big candle on the this whole move to the downside. So this is uh, good for the bulls but we need to see some more um, uh, momentum uh, next week as well. So this trend that we had on the daily is now broken because we have a close above previous uh, swing with a lower high which means the uh, ongoing trend to the downside is at least invalidated uh, short term and if we go to uh, further down we see that uh, on the four hour time frame we, we had this bearish channel that is now broken with a break out of the channel and above previous high this again a good sign but in my opinion and if you ask me I want to see the dollar trading back above last month's monthly S1. Keep in mind these uh, monthly pivots here, S2, S1, monthly pivot, um, they are for um, April. So we did not get um, a new pivot for the for May yet. Next week on Monday, we will get uh, a new pivot and I will change this. But again, uh, it is not only about the pivot itself. It is about the uh, structure here, been acting as uh, support previously couple of times then resistance couple of times and um, this area now is key for uh, the bulls if uh, for me the bulls need to break above that give me a correction with a higher low maybe a retest of this neckline and then start moving up again if that would be the case i will consider potential continuation back toward 92 which is also another good uh, structure area looking left uh, 92 been a good level uh, i think uh, if you've been following me for a while we've been trading around 92 many times each time we reach that level we do have trouble on that area okay so that's uh, my plan on the dollar this is good but it is not enough one day only is not gonna change the whole uh, this sentiment to the downside for one day good sentiment um, that is not enough for me so that's why waiting for the breakout higher higher low and then we start looking for a reversal on the dollar gold um been slow i mean it did break out to the upside then break out to the downside but all in all we still uh, this was the trading week for last week on the four hour this was the whole week yeah so not much happened um we're still looking at the same monthly r1 from april is still a key area down here as potential support and we've got a little bit of a bounce from that and monthly r2 for april up here this is the the boundaries we should be playing on gold for next week so keep buying the low selling the high waiting for a break out of this little range here on gold um there is literally nothing else to do here and we do not need to make it harder than that 
Uh, oil um, reached um, the the uh, key area here once again, 60, uh, 65 area, uh, all the way to 65.50. Um, it was looking good with the break above this uh, range, retest of the range, and then there was attempt to continue higher. The whole week been a bullish week until Friday where we've got a little bit of a rejection back down. So Friday was a bearish day. So if we check the weekly time frame, <coughs> The week uh, weekly candle did end up as a spinning top and it is a key area it is still a level that is a trouble level we are checking uh, we are looking at the weekly time frame here and you see how many times we see the price getting rejected so this area still not broken is still acting resistance and as far as that is the case there will be selling pressure here so we keep looking to um, see if uh, the signs are to sell we will uh, keep playing this uh, area as a sell level down here as a buy level so something like this may it might end up bouncing around here in this upper range for now this is the the range we have on oil at the moment and we should keep playing that until it is uh, broken your usd <coughs> strong, strong drop on friday checking the weekly time frame here you see that uh, euro usd been in a bullish trend yeah then we've got this uh, strong dip to the downside as far as this is not taken out i've been saying uh, that we might still see continuation but last week uh, on friday we've got this uh, strong dip to the downside on the daily you see how uh, nice and strong move but even here I think uh, the level here, this previously broken structure, been acting as resistance, also as support here, uh, is what we should be watching for not for uh, next week. So at around 1.20 area down here is the level to watch to see if uh, the bears really mean this uh, continuation or not because i want to see a break below this level to then look for further downside otherwise i will see this as first as a potential support at least a short-term support that might give us the bounce back up here maybe a retest of the broken structure then we will see if they enter once again and start pushing down if that would be the case i'm expecting maybe further down downside here on this uh, market uh, what we could say here about the one hour time frame that the the uh, bullish trend uh, on the four hour sorry uh, on the four hour time frame i would say is now uh, broken because you have a break below a key structure area here on this move so uh, this um, uh, bullish move is now invalidated and the next move could be a retest and then one more leg to the downside to then start watching what will happen here this gonna be the level that we uh, should be uh, watching closely that is where the fight might happen because if we look left here this area been acting many times times uh, the both uh, support and resistance so many times yeah so once again keep your eyes on this level that is what uh, the boots might try to defend even though you've got this strong uh, push to the downside it is one day only so that is again not enough sterling on the other hand this one was showing weakness already the whole week it been going up but slowly lots of wicks small body candles and the move before was still a, a good moment a bearish momentum here we've got a correction one more leg to the downside and now even here we are sitting at a potential um, support area i don't think we have much looking left we have this here all the way back and then we have all these uh, retests area okay so um it is not looking uh, good for um, for the bulls here uh, we've had this strong day uh, only and then most of the move is a bearish momentum so for next week we need to watch where the price is testing right now that is uh, key at the moment because a break below this area here that could signal further downside to retest these levels down here so um that is the plan on uh, on uh, sterling for next week a break below where the price is testing right now could mean that we might retest these levels but at the moment uh, here is a potential support and you might see one more push to the upside so keep an eye on that level as a potential support as first 
USD Jappy pushing nicely to the upside now once again even though you had a break below this structure uh, 107.80 is still a key structure I mentioned that in my weekly overview looking left been tested so many times and um, after this fake out to the downside the price start pushing up nicely and uh, looking good for potential further upside especially after this move here another break to the upside here now uh, 10930 uh, where the price is testing right now is a previous area of resistance as well so we might see a little bit of a trouble but if the bulls uh, continue above that do a retest once again i'm thinking that we might retest that 111 once again on um, usd jappy so as far as these lows are not taken out next week keep looking to buy the dips and uh, look for further upside on this market usd chief checking the daily time frame uh, been uh, in a bearish trend for a while until it reached the 200 moving average on the daily time frame which is key so we broke above that we've got a retest uh, sorry a, a correction and continuation but then a break below this structure happened which is not good for this leg for this bullish momentum it was not good um but again it was so strong move if we look on the weekly time frame as you see on the weekly time frame you had this whole swing all the way here and this got broken so uh, it was a strong momentum it needed a little bit of a correction it was not good for the bulls to uh, see the bears breaking below this level but still it needed a big correction because it was only one direction almost so what happened last week 200 is still holding as support so that gonna be key for now and uh, we've got this uh, nice rotation back up we've got this nice rounded bottom but what are the, the er what is the area we are testing right now uh, as you see here we have this uh, previous support level and usually uh, or the textbook would say we've had a break we look for a retest and we look for continuation so we are right now seeing the market making an attempt push to push higher or a, a retest of the broken structure to then give us further downside so we should be watching this level for next week on the lower time frame to see what will happen as you see here the 200 moving average on the one hour been acting as a nice dynamic resistance got retested shortly here and then we have this previous structure as well to keep an eye on so that's why i'm saying keep an eye on this as a potential resistance and maybe further downside now if this will fail that would mean a little bit of a correction a higher low to start being established a break above the 200 moving average and the previous high on the one hour that will confirm potential further move up toward these um, areas up here which is also yet another key level of resistance so for next week i will see this as first as a potential retest for more downside but if they fail and break above it then i will look for one more leg to the upside toward uh, this area up here at around last month s1 usd cat uh, still in a bearish momentum on the daily and on the weekly you see here and I think the market objective is to tag this slow down here or below that as well um, the weekly candle is a big uh, huge bearish candle so the momentum is still there on this one the daily as well since the break below this area here there was nothing else to hold it until we reach this previous low down here so i still think the market objective is to reach that low target and maybe trade a little bit below that before a reversal and um, as for now uh, the the momentum also on the four hour time frame is lower lows lower lows another lower low start to um give us maybe a correction next week toward this area and then further downside or we start establish some kind of a flag here or uh, this little range we have here down here if this breaks then further downside to come on this market so for next week i will keep an eye on this previous high if they break above it then we 
potentially gonna have a little bit of a correction toward these areas then we might expect a little bit of trouble for further downside okay those are the scenarios for usd cat aussie usd still inside the range this was not good with a couple of bearish days for the bulls though and uh, we knew that we might see some trouble here looking left it's been an area that uh, acted as resistance previously and uh, last week we've got um, a couple of retests here so uh, this was the first test this was the second both failed and now we are trading at the bottom of the range and as i said in my weekly overview guys this box is still from last uh, weekly overview and i was saying sell high buy low there's nothing else to do and that is still the case uh, the structure did not change and we do not need to change the plan either um, as far as we are holding inside this range right now we are at the buy uh, low level so we look for buys here until um, it show us uh, that we have a break below then we look for a retest and further downside toward these levels instead so at the moment it is not broken and we should looking for potential bounce to the upside USD New Zealand, uh, sorry, New Zealand USD also reached uh, a level of interest looking left. It was a uh, previous swing high, failed to continue higher, and Friday was a big momentum candle as uh, on many other USD pairs. And um, the four hour time frame, you see it clearly here. Uh, we start having, having a little bit of a, a divergence on the RSI and uh, a lower high here established another lower high established and then we've got the break to the downside so we have uh, a couple of structure that been broken we had this we have this one as well and um, yeah that failure could signal potential continuation to the downside but i would say first of all we need to see the market breaking below the range this is the the, the the level that i'm watching for next week this need to hold as support otherwise if they break below that we are pushing toward last month pivot point down here at around these levels the broken structure here is key for now so um as first for next week uh, watch this level where the price is testing right now as a potential support at least minor support i would say and uh, maybe a little bit of a correction now if they fail to break higher once again and start giving you a lower high then you might look for potential sales at this area looking left it been acting um, as resistance previously as well even here so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot and see you next sunday bye bye